Welcome to the Seven Minute Sting, a series about the Australian stingrays and the women who will make it great. I'm Mike Neal, and I'm glad you're here. Today I'm joined by Nicola Cara, a woman who likes frisbee way more than she likes sailing. Nick, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. You recovered? You're okay? I have recovered. I am okay. Cool. We might get to that later on. Um, <laughs> firstly, I really want to know, uh, how did you come across frisbee and like what is it that's drawn you so far in you're now on the Australian frisbee team? Um, I think the first time I played frisbee was in high school um, and I remember being better than the boys. Yes. And, yeah, I was like, wow, this is a great sport. It's super fun. Um, and, yeah, but I asked my mum after school being like, can we find somewhere to play? Yeah. And we couldn't. The only place that came up was a university team. And so we were like, damn, we're going to have to wait until uni until we can play. Um, and so that's what I did. And as soon as I got to uni, that was the first club I joined um, was the Ultimate Frisbee Club. And that's how that's how it all started. Um, but, yeah, I really, yeah, I got hooked pretty easily. <laughs> One PE lesson changed your life. Pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> wow, isn't that? Um, and so, so now you you live in a, a mighty frisbee hub. You know, there's frisbee players all around you. Um, so, what's it like being there and preparing for the under twenty four World Championships? It's been hectic in a good way. Um, <laughs> it's <laughs> it's quite good having. Um, being in Victoria because you do have so many strong women who are just like really pushing you and and motivating you and empowering you to keep going and and do some of the things that like you don't necessarily enjoy but have like just such a beneficial outcome to you as a player yeah. um so that's been really cool I've definitely been pushed by by so many people and I've learned so much from from so many people and people just coming from everywhere, giving all these perspectives and, and stuff like that. It's been, it's been like a super cool um, experience. Um, yeah, it's, it's been awesome. It's been hard work, but it's been awesome. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. It sounds like you're telling a story of being dragged along to achieve things that are you know, beyond where you would have got to in a good way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> For sure. I don't think I would, I mean, I've always been pretty hardworking, but yeah, it's um, it's nice to just be able to be, yeah, told what to do and then go and do it, and that kind of stuff is it's it's quite cool, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. It sounds like a good attitude to to that situation as well. Um, now I want to move to the team here, and so we're we're just two days past our third training camp. Um, what happened, Nick? <laughs> A lot of things happened. A lot of things happened. Tell us. <laughs> it was um, it was quite fun. Um, we I think um, coming off the 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 previous training camp, the Invitational, yep. um, I guess that was really like free flowy kind of play, just getting to know the team, and you know, obviously, it, yeah, it was just playing. Yep. Um, and it was really cool this training camp to like come off that and then really hone in on each and every line and and all the strategy and 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 tactics and um those kind of like things started to like come into it and we it was just really cool to see like just how you know our base is so strong and then starting to build off that in this training camp and mm yeah starting to get those structures and things and we started playing just so well as a team each line is so strong um and I think that was just the greatest thing to see like during the training camp was just how things just started fitting together and we started really really playing um yeah. some incredible ultimate frisbee um and then on the funny side of things, we went sailing, which was so cool. You mean literal um, sailing, right? On a sailing boat. Yeah, on a sailing boat. And we, yeah, we weren't, <laughs> we were kind of sitting, but like it was quite cool to like, 
yeah, just be out on the open water and have an experience that I don't think any of us would have had otherwise, at least not somewhere like more inland. I feel like Sydney side is it's a little bit easier to go sailing, but like down here, I think it'd be quite difficult. Um, and but also yeah, to do it with was, your whole team, you know, like six boats, there, your mates are over there, they're over there. Yeah, talking. it was so fun. It was so fun to race people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think our boat was racing, like our, like um, each other. Um, yeah, it was really, really fun. And um, it's good that only one boat capsized and not all six. I think it would have been a lot worse. <laughs> yeah. That is cool. That's a nice sign for us. <laughs> yeah. uh, um, there's only one minute left here. Uh, and so I'm, I'm interested to know, like, you've talked about all these things that happened and some positive to it. Uh, can you describe how you think the team grew across the weekend and whether that's Brisbane growing or togetherness or like, yeah, in the last minute, how did we grow? I think we grew just in every way that we could. Like I, you know, in Frisbee wise, it was like we grew just as a team performing just a lot stronger than what we have. Mm. But I think like just between the people and whatever, like I think that we we really do love each other and we really love where this team is going and how it's building and I think it was quite yeah we just yeah we're so tight as a team mm. um and we all have so much love for each other and more love to give and it's just yeah it's really beautiful where we're coming to I'm very very excited very very excited oh Nick I can hear the the joy and the the hard work and the passion the heart in your voice there it's Sounding like a wonderful <laughs> project. It is. It's the best. It's the best. Incredible. Well, we've got to leave it there. That's a great message. And uh, thanks for being on the 7 Minutes Ding, Nicola Cara. Oh, good. Bye. <laughs> Bye.